Hello, stock watchers, and welcome to your daily stock report, brought to you by QualityStocks.net, where performance is tracked daily. I'm your host, Kathy Rankin, and for Wednesday, March 19th, we're bringing you the latest news from around the markets today. Our headline news today are brought to you by Angstrom Technologies Incorporated. Angstrom Technologies has developed innovative technologies to combat rising energy prices. As computers continue to increase in performance, the amount of required energy also continues to rise. By using Angstrom's liquid cooling, ultra efficient power technologies, and acceleration software, businesses can substantially decrease their computing costs by reducing the power needed. Now let's get into our headline news for Tuesday. Investment bank stock. Soared yesterday after Goldman Sachs and Lehman Brothers reported better than expected profits that soothed the frayed nerves of investors who were bracing for a domino effect after the near failure of Bear Stearns. Wholesale prices rose again in February as another hefty increase in energy costs offset falling food prices. Outside of food and energy, prices shot up at the fastest pace in 15 months. So the markets opened this morning with the Dow up 420.41 points. Or 3.51 percent, the Nasdaq up 91.25 points, or 4.19 percent, and the S&P 500 also up 54.14 points, or 4.24 percent. And now let's look at the small cap news that Quality Stocks is tracking for you. Small cap headlines are brought to you by Budget Waste Incorporated. Budget Waste is focused on providing cost competitive waste services. The company is committed to surpassing each of their customers' expectations by paying special attention to each specific customer need. The QualityStocks.net daily newsletter would like to highlight China Housing and Land Development Incorporated as our one to watch, and they were up six percent with over 11,000 shares traded. China Housing and Land Development is in the unique position of being the largest affiliated developer of residential and commercial properties in Xi'an, the capital city of the Shanghai province in China, which is the bridgehead to the Go West movement sponsored by the central government. Stem Cell Therapy International Incorporated is up 23 percent with over 220,000 shares traded. Stem Cell Therapy International announced significant news in early August of last year, announcing they had acquired the exclusive worldwide rights to a new U.S. patent-pending anti-rejection umbilical cord blood stem cell technology. The patent-pending anti-rejection umbilical cord blood stem cell technology—that's a mouthful—offers patients awaiting organ transplants an additional alternative in cases where a matching donor cannot be found in time. Pay88 Incorporated is up 66 percent with over 118,000 shares traded. Pay88 shares climbed 88 percent after Lebedbiz dot biz excuse me called it in early March when the stock was charting in the 27 cent to 35 cent range. The rapid gains were followed by a brief period of small gains and losses. Shares look to have hit their stride though, recently climbing 66 percent today alone. And that's it for our newsmakers. Stay tuned right here to the Quality Stocks Daily Newsletter for the latest. This news and commentary on small cap to large cap and everything in between, brought to you by QualityStocks.net. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kathy Rankin. Have a great day, and we'll see you again right here tomorrow on our daily report.